What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm out here in the middle of nowhere as you guys see. I'm actually going to be hunting an elusive bass species called the warrior bass that can only be found right here in the Black Warrior River Basin of Alabama. Real cool looking fish. I don't know that I've ever caught one before. I mean, because I've never really paid much attention. I mean, I've always just looked at them as largemouth bass, spotted bass, or smallmouth, or whatnot. But actually, back in 2013, the red-eye bass was split into uh, seven different species. I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a video series of trying to find and catch each one. But we're, I mean, we're at least going to start off trying to catch the warrior since it's right here basically in the backyard, right here close to me. But yeah, if y'all want to see a series of me trying to find and catch the uh, all the different kinds of red-eye bass, drop me a like on this thing. And also, if y'all are enjoying the content that I've been putting out, make sure to smash that like button. If you'll please consider subscribing to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Y'all stay tuned, see how it turns out. All right, now I got my sister Stephanie and my brother-in-law Keith with me. They're my accomplices today. Just in case I get lost, I got other people to be lost with me. Heck, even if we don't find a daggum warrior bass, it's a pretty, uh, pretty looking spot anyways. Right, I'm gonna start off with my little ugly stick dock runner. I've just got a little cheap, like $2 Walmart jerk bait stuck on here. I'll start off tossing it around, see if I can't get something to bite it. I may have to wind up switching over to some kind of soft plastic or something. I'm not really sure, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. I always see me change words a ton of times. All right, I'm gonna move on to the next little pool. Don't see why nothing's right here. We're scaling mountains in search of this fish. Yeah. <laughs> and so far we stopped at a few spots and fished, but no luck I'm doing more hiking than fishing. I'm trying to find a deep hole that may have some of these fish in it. Means, all right. This will hold it, promising. hiking for a few miles we uh finally got a deeper looking hole here let's see if it pays off for us even if it doesn't i mean shoot it's been a beautiful walk y'all all the rock formations it's awesome Man, yes. Now I don't know if it was a warrior bass, but I had a fish.
I will update y'all. Still no fish. We got a little natural ladder to climb up right here to get up this thing. Let's get up. Go find the next pool. I don't know why I didn't get that fish. Nah. Got him? Heck yeah. Don't let him back in the water. Get him up. Uh, I want to, we need to identify him, see what he is. And Stephanie's got the first fish of the day. I just missed one. I had one throw my rod over double right here. Daddy, I got a fish. I want to see what he is. If he's what we're after. We probably hiked about two miles, guys. Well, hang on a second. We're going to identify. And one of us finally has the first fish. Uh, let's see. See what he is. Let's check him out. Got him? Yeah. You have a warrior bass. Oh. It's a target species, y'all, I believe. Have you caught one before? Let's see. Got spots right there on the fin. Got spots down there on that one. Start to see a little bit of white right there on the tail. I mean, maybe a hybrid. It may be mixed with something else. No tooth patch. I'm gonna say that little guy at least has warrior in him. Let's see. Let's count spots. One, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you go. Turn loose. You got red eyes. Take yeah. a picture of him. Yeah, I got you. Here, hang on. Yeah, there you go. All right. Got something, y'all. What is it? Finally. A little bass there. Not really sure, though. Uh, Not really 100% what he is. I mean, I want to say this is a warrior. I mean, the fin right there is white, got a little bit of orange in it, got the little dots in it, got spots right there in the dorsal fin. You start to see it's starting to get the, uh, it's got a little bit of a white border. A little fin right there. I think that is a little warrior bass. I'm counting 12 lateral line spots on him. No tooth patch. That's a little bee guy, but I do believe that is target species. I'm gonna compare him to some different uh, resources, different pictures and stuff of warrior bass. See if that's what he is, but I do believe we've got a little juvenile warrior bass right there. Almost positive. All right, buddy. Let's get you back. Beautiful little fish. But I got him on a little rage crawl that I pinched down. And I've just got a little small mosquito hook going through it. And then a little small split shot weight, uh, about six inches or so up the line from the other uh, rage crawl. That's why I've finally been able to get him on. That's what Stephanie caught that one of hers on, and that's what I got that one right there just then on. Had lots of bites on the rage crawl and other pockets on this creek today. Just haven't managed to hook up on any. But what I did is, I mean, I actually uh, changed over from just a regular bass hook from like an O'Shaughnessy style bass hook to that exposed mosquito hook. That was the turning point for me, it seems like. 
which I mean I still only have one fish but shoot today is just about crossing that little feller off the bucket list and seeing just the awesome sights that nature has to offer beautiful place out here like I said I'm pretty sure that that was the target species but I'm gonna confirm and if so then we'll, uh, we'll progress to the next bass on our list for uh for catching all the uh, the red eye bass species we'll go ahead and move on to the next closest one to me to so the Cahaba bass next and I'm going to do some research and figure out where each of the other different types of bass live. Find some spots and then we'll, uh, we'll move on to each of them. Let's we'll see, you've got the, uh, got the Coosa bass, got the Talapusa bass, the Chattahoochee bass, Bartram's bass, the Altamaha bass. Got a good little list to, uh, to find and catch. I think it'll be a pretty cool little adventure. Definitely a change of pace for me and being out on the bass boat and stuff. Just out here targeting these little different species of creek bass. Actually, I had one that gum. Miss one. It's got a fish. Let's see if we can get an identification on it. Oh, that one's shinier. That's a warrior bass, I believe. I believe that one has better markings. Yeah, that one's greener. Let's see. That is a definitive warrior bass. Is it? No doubt. What's Here, that this. What's it I'm just saying that there's no doubt that's a warrior bass. Oh, Keith got this one. Pretty little warrior bass. So he's got the little white margins on his, uh, on his tail fan. Got the little white tips on his tail fan right there. Okay, I see now. Got the little white colored fan right here with the speckles on it. Got the spots on his top fan. Let's see if he has a tooth patch. No tooth patch on him. But yeah, that is a warrior bass, no doubt, 100%. How grown you think it is? Let me get a little bit bigger. Let me get bigger. It's a small one, but. Look, look, look. You see him? There's there you two go. Or three of them right there. You see him? Yep. There Let's you go. go. There's, your, there's your warrior bass, man. Let's see. Uh, Be free. Yeah. All right, we'll finish the day off right here where we started. Uh, right here where we came in at, right here below the waterfall. We, uh, we didn't fish this big pool to start with. <laughs> I imagine folks over time have just uh, stacked up rocks and made this little round circle thing right here. Pretty neat looking. I guess it's the kiddie pool area. Now what better backdrop could there be for fishing, y'all? I don't know if I'm gonna catch nothing right here in this little hole or not, but does it get any more beautiful than that? Perfect backdrop to finish today. I see a little bass right now. Yeah, crawl scared him. They know what's up. These in this first little hole, I mean, people have easier access to get to them without having to hike real far. So I imagine they done seen a few things. They're a little skittish, it looks like. Well, that won't stop us from trying. We well, all, it's gonna be a wrap for this one. I mean, I can't think of a more beautiful, better place to be filming an outro. It's absolutely stunning, spectacular views down here. Wasn't the best day fishing, but shoot, I mean, it, it's been a blast though anyway. I mean, even though we didn't catch with three fish, the one apiece, and today was a blast. I mean, just exploring a new place, getting to see all the different scenery here, potentially catching a new species. I'm not sure if the one that me and Stephanie caught, if those were warrior bass, but I'm pretty sure those were warrior bass. But before I post this video, I will have confirmation of that. So I'll let you guys know for sure. 
whether they actually indeed ended up being warrior bass or not. But, I mean, it's awesome to come out here to such a beautiful place. I mean, just and also a place that you have the opportunity to catch a fish species that can only be caught right here in this part of the world, in this part of Alabama. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all do want to see a series on me tracking down and trying to catch uh, different species of red-eye bass, like I said back at the beginning, make sure to let me know in the comments. Drop me a big like on the video. We'll see y'all next time.